Hello everyone and welcome to Tangle with Tracy Ann. Today I'll be doing two tangles. One of them is called Ruffles by Laurie Biley and the other one is Nayu by Emiko Kaniko. And I'm not sure if I've got that pronounced correctly. And she's a CZT, has her own channel and is a beautiful tangler. So let's see what we can come up with. I'm going to start off with a 3.5 inch square tile, a pencil tortillon and a Micron 01. And I'm using this bijou tile to draw around. You don't necessarily have to do this. You could just do your four dots in, and then a border. But I liked the curved corners. Then I'm going to use my o Micron 01 and draw an aura on the inside of that square that I've just drawn. I'm adding some short dashes. Looks a little bit like stitching around the edges. I'm now going to use my pencil to do four dots in the corners and draw a quite narrow border right around the edge. Using my Micron 01, I'm going to draw four seed shapes right in the center on each side. The next step is very similar to Waybop, but instead of joining the two seeds, I'm going to leave a little gap there and just join one and do the same and then go all the way around. Turn the tile and this time it goes from the edge of the other lines. So it's kind of twisting around each other. Now that I've finished the pattern, I'm just going to colour in all of the background in this inner square. The tangle ruffles is just like a ruffle that you see on clothing. So I'll draw on the edge this wiggly sort of line. So you can see it's got an upper section and a lower section. If you're doing this in a straight line, it's quite easy. Now that I've got to the corner, I'll just show you a couple of options that you could have. So I can keep going right around with that upper curve and then continue the pattern. Mm -hmm. 
Another option is to do the curl on the underside when you get to the corner. So it just depends where your uh, actual lines are going when you get to that corner. So I'll just very quickly fill in these sections and I'll show you a little bit more in detail when I do my actual bigger tile. But once I've just add, finished off these ruffles, you can see what each of the corners looks like. This sample's a bit rough, but you get the idea. It can face outwards or inwards. So it doesn't really matter. You can't really go wrong there. And the way this pattern's going on my tile, it looks like I need to do a downward curve on my corners. So if this was fabric, it would look a little bit pleated. So I'm starting off with those bottom curves and just drawing a line towards that stitching. And as I get to the corners, I'm going to slope the lines a little bit. Bring each line from the outer edge of each one of those curves. Now I'm going to concentrate on where the fabric curls back, if it was fabric. Again, I'm going from the outer edge of each one of those curves, but this time taking it from the top edge. And now to add some shading.
Here's some other samples I did using different coloured pens. I used brown in the background and white gel pen for the frill. And in this one I used a blue pen. And I'll just show you how I did those frills. So I started off with white gel pen, colour it with white charcoal pencil. And just come put a bit of graphite in the folds in the background. And while my tortillon is still dirty, I'll just add a little bit at the bottom, not very much. Now I could just leave this all white if you want, just it has a sheer look, a little bit like chiffon. Or I could use some pastel pencils and add a touch of colour. I've chosen this blue pastel pencil and I'm just adding a tiny little bit. It's fairly blunt. I find these particular pencils hard to sharpen. So now I'm just going to soften that, blend it up into the white and it gives that just a hint of blue. You could use it any colour you like. The other thing I could do is add colour by using watercolour pencils and I'm just choosing one colour. This is a dark red. You could leave it just shaded if you like or adding the watercolour pencil on top of the shading just gives it a little bit of a different look about it. It's up to you, what, whatever you'd like to do. I'm using a water brush to activate the colour. You could use a normal paintbrush and just plain water. To activate this, I'm going to squeeze some water onto my brush and just put a little bit of water where there is no colour. Gently ease into the colour and then wipe it off my brush. I don't want to completely fill that whole area with colour. And I'm, the reason I'm putting water where there is no colour is so that I get a nice soft edge. If I find the colour is seeping too much and is too dark I can just wipe off my brush and go back in and take a little bit of that paint back off. So once I've done those circles in the centre when I work on these petal shapes I'm going to put some water at the edge and then just soften it and do the same on the other side. Now I don't want to bring that colour into that white section. I want to leave that white area so that it has a little bit of depth. Again I'm using just plain water to soften the edges. So start with plain water bring it down into the colour and then go back in and just soften the edges.
If you accidentally go over the edges, you can go back in with your paintbrush and clean water and that will lift the pigment back off the page. There's lots of things you can do with these two patterns. So here are some samples of things that I've done using different colors and different shapes, different pens, different backgrounds. You could even use a circular shape. So this is a single frill. And then I did another one with a double frill. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, do that so that you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching and until next week, stay safe and bye for now. If you'd like to see more of my videos, head over to my YouTube channel or there are a couple of links here on the screen and there's a subscribe button.